Bienvenue au Just As et je suis Rachel Helps, you to balance your lifestyle and fitness. I am back with another Just As video. I got a new message via Facebook and I decided to take my time out since I was taking a coffee break uh, to answer that email question via Facebook. So if you don't notice, I'm gonna just do like this. No, I'm gonna do like that. Can you see that behind me? That's my new office. And I'm sitting on the table where I teach people. Okay, so where was I at? <laughs> okay, so let me go to Facebook. Rianne Jones sent me a Facebook message and I'm gonna read it to you and then I'm gonna answer Rianne's questions. So, hello Rachel, hope you are having a great day. I am, it is nice outside. I've been wanting to write you for some time just to say thank you for your videos and I thank you Rianne for watching my videos. I currently live in Aix-en-Provence, previously Montpellier, which I loved and originally from London. Cool, I've been to Montpellier, I've been to Aix-en-Provence and I've been to London too. I love to go shopping in London. Uh, sometimes find it quite difficult to adjust to people here in Aix. 70% of the time I come across very, very, very rude people and I have to look at myself occasionally and question my very British comportement of being so polite all the time. Did you ever experience this while adjusting to life here in France? Yes, 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 I did. And I experienced that in my first and second year uh, in Paris. Uh, the problem is French people are rude. Okay, that's it. Customer service does not exist here in France. So you might occasionally come across certain people that are nice, but in general, if you live here, I'm not talking about tours, going to the Eiffel Tower and say, oh, everybody was nice to me at the Eiffel Tower. If you live here, a person that lives in France and work in France, you're not getting that same experience. So yes, I experience that all the time and I still experience that still today. I will give you uh, an example. I moved here to Toulouse, so I had to transfer my bank, um, change my address with my bank account, which is La Poste, and I came five minutes late to uh, the rendezvous. And the lady was very rude to me, and she reminded me how I was late, and I reminded her how I was a client and I've already been there once to change my address and they made me come back for rendezvous, seeing how I already had the papers. And long story short, she stayed rude throughout the whole thing, but then changed her attitude when she tried to sell me something. So yes, you would experience people being rude all the time. Um, uh, I think that's just people in general. Uh, I think you can go in some places in California where I'm from and you will experience also some people being rude as well. Uh, I think that's more of a human thing. But as I said, uh, France is not known for customer service. And yes, people are uh, rude here. Um, the one way that I handled it was I stopped comparing um, the French way of life here to my old American life, how things were in America. I kind of changed my mentality of thinking, oh, customers are, you know, how do they say customers are, are kings or you no, know, uh, customers are always, always right. Um, here, no, the customer is not always right. Uh, and you can whine and complain in some places and that will not get you very far. So, um, what I did was I just, uh, stop comparing, uh, how people are here to what you were used to wherever you're from. Okay. Uh, then also another thing was just shake it off. You know, you're going to come, uh, you're going to meet some people who are really, really nice. And then you're going to meet some people who just have bad days and they're going to take it out on you. And you're going to meet some people that it might not be that they're rude. They might be racist and it just comes off as being rude. So I've experienced that as well. 
So, um, you know, do the Taylor Swift song. Just shake it off. Shake it off. Uh, next question. Also, how long did it take you to learn the language and build your life here? For the French society to start accepting you as a non-foreigner who is fluent enough to integrate. Mm, that's a very good question. Okay, before I came, like I gave in my tip number one video, I learned French. I had French classes in San Francisco. When I got to Paris, okay, I realized that the way I learned French in the United States by an American teacher was the wrong way to go. If you're learning French, you want your teacher to be a French speaking person so you can learn the accents. Um, and so what I did was I took a class, a six month class at Institut de Catholique in Paris. And also I had a job which helped me practice every day. And then another thing that I did was I stayed away from this invisible trap that a lot of foreigners get caught up in. I call it an invisible trap because um, when you come over, you you kind of want to rebuild your community, uh, meet new people. And so you're going to probably find like meetup groups or you're going to go uh, in different websites and you're going to meet other people. You want to meet other people from other countries. But however, the problem is that with that is those meetups are usually English speaking people from whatever country they come from. And the pitfalls of that is you're going to meet people and you probably might make some friends. But however, guess what? You're always speaking English. So that is not good if you're in France and you're trying to learn French. Okay. So basically you can spend six hours in school, but at night, if you go and hanging out in the bar with your English speaking friends, you can say bye bye to those French lessons because you need a turtle immersion in French and you need to practice it and hear it all the time. And you need to hear it uh, from the different dialects. In French, you have, in English, there's so many dialects. In French, you have the same thing. Um, I'll give you an example. Here in Toulouse, the other day I went to the store and a lady said to me, uh, voulez-vous un poche? And I'm like, un poche? Poche means, do you want a pocket? in English. And I'm like, posh, I like, I got, you know, pockets in my pants. What she's talking about? And someone behind me was like, on sack. And I'm like, oh, she's asking me, do I want a bag? You know? So it's like, you have those different vocabularies and that's just the way they talk here, I guess, in the South of France. So there's lots of different vocabulary that up in Nantes, up in Paris that people don't use. People don't use chocolatine, uh, the, my car, they call it the cough, the open up the cough. Here they call it la, la my. They have all kinds of different vocabularies for different things here. So you want to be around different people so you can train your ear for the different dialects. Also, French people are like some Americans, some articulate well, and some do not articulate well. Okay. And so you want to also train your ear for the people who do not articulate well, the people who cut their words up. Okay. And only way you can do that is by hanging out and being around French people. It's great. Watch, uh, TV. I watched TV in the beginning that helped me. Um, listen to a lot of French music that will also help you, but you need the interaction. So I would suggest, I don't know if you're working or not, but maybe get a part-time job or where you can be immersed in that environment and have colleagues, uh, where you can, where you're obligated to speak French all the time and stay away from that invisible trap. Uh, I would say don't stay away from it, from your whole experience, um, in France, but stay away from it from your first to two, first to two years, stay away from it. My first two years, I, when I saw American coming, I ran the other way. When I saw someone English come, I ran the other way because I knew that I would be speaking English. It just, for me, it's ridiculous to be speaking to another American 
in English. But I have done that because I met, um, I made a great friend in Paris, Amandine, which is, I'm, I'm still friends with her. And we're both Americans. And she's like, no, I'm speaking French. And whenever I see her, we, we talk in French because she, she, that's what she needs. So, and as a good friend, that's what I'll do. I'll speak with her in French. That's no problem. Okay. So any, oh, and then for the French society to start accepting you as a foreigner who is enough to integrate. Okay. Uh, so we're getting into communication here. Um, going back to French society to start accepting you as a non foreigner who is fluent to integrate. If you get to a point where you're able to follow the conversation and express yourself fluently, French people will accept you. Okay. Don't worry about your accent. You're every now and then you're going to have some ignoramus person, uh, or some person who's jealous of you, who might make fun of your accents or my fun of make fun of you because you said lushes and not lashes. Those people you want to ignore. Uh, if you're, if you get to a point where you're able to communicate, meaning communicate what you want to say, regardless if you, you made a mistake on a masculine or feminine, and regardless if you're unable to roll your R's like the French people, because I have a problem with my R's. I can't roll them. My tongue just, my tongue don't swing that way. And, uh, you'll meet people and you'll be able to to forge relationship and people will, French people will just start talking to you like other French people do. So I think your key is to communicate, worry less about the grammatical errors, worry more so about that person understanding what you want to get across. And then also you understanding what that person just said. Okay. Anywho, just wanted to just wanted some wise words from someone more experienced than I am being here on here. Ooh, I am being here only three years, only for three years. I feel very much still like a foreigner and not even close to being fluent yet. Okay. I have a question for you that you're going to need to answer. Okay. You've been here three years. Why are you not fluent? That's my question to you. Okay. Uh, what are you doing that you're not fluent? Uh, are you hanging a lot of, around a lot of English speaking people? Are you studying? Are you having problems learning? Um, like I said in another video, I'm dyslexic. Do you have dyslexia and you don't know that you have it? because there's ways of getting around that and to learn. Uh, so my question is three years, I feel is a long time to not be fluent in French. So why are you not fluent? So you need to give me a little bit more information on that. Um, I would love to stay in touch with you if possible. I have also started another YouTube channel. Hey, go girl. Apart from Afro Baby 25 about expat vegetarian living. Oh, cool. Well, send me your channel on expat vegetarian living. Is it called expat vegetarian living? Okay, I'm gonna go check out your YouTube channel, Afro Baby 25. Hopefully, you can feature Hopefully you can feature on my channel one of these days. That would be an honor for sure. I see a cup video collaboration. Thanks again for taking the time to read. J'espère que vous avez un très bon weekend. Okay. Thank you, Rianne, for your, your, your message. Um, I would love to stay in contact with you. And of course you are not very far from me. You're in Aix-en-Provence, uh, which I do travel the weekend. I have a car. So, uh, yeah. So one of these days when, I, if I'm in the area, I will shoot you a line. Also, if you ever come to the Toulouse area, let me know. Uh, I would love to hook up with you and chat with you and yeah, maybe we can do a video collaboration because I think it's interesting to have different people's experience. Um, you being British, I'm American. 
And in another Just As video, I had my friend Rita, uh, which, um, who Rita, I forgot what country you from. Uh, she's from Indonesia. That's my Alzheimer's kicking in, you know. Yeah, at my age, you start getting that. So, uh, yeah, and she just, we did a video together where she, uh, she gave her experience of being an expat from Indonesia in France. Um, so, yeah, so thank you for your message, Rianne. I hope that answered your question. Um, give me a little bit more information why you feel why you're not fluent yet in three years and maybe I can give you some tips on that and uh, I hope what I said just helped you out so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you know someone else who can benefit from me answering Rianne's question please pass this video along subscribe to my channel and just as videos are basically questions and answers, Q and A. So if you have a question or answer, shoot me a line through my Facebook page and I will do a video to answer your question, okay? So I will do another video later on my new office and also about me settling into Toulouse and why did I leave Nantes? the big question. So I uh, will talk to you guys later and have a good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. I'll talk to you soon.